Hello, in this video we are going to compare between 13 power 12 versus 12 power 13 and we are going to find out which of these is the bigger number. So 13 power 12 can be our A and this is B. So if A divided by B gives us a number that is greater than 1, that means A is greater than B. And also, if a divided by b gives us a number that is less than 1, that means a is less than b. So let's do that right away. So we have a that is 13 power 12. We are going to divide it by b. So you have divided by 12 power 13. First us, we have this one. 12 power 13 divided by 12 power 13. So this cancel this and this will give us 1. That is why we are comparing everything to 1. So we are now going to concentrate on this 13 power 12 divided by 12 power 13 and let's see if it's going to give us number greater than 1 or number less than 1. So what I'm going to do is I have my 13 power 12 divided by I have 12 power instead of Writing 13, I have 12 plus 1. So if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. I apply this identity here. That means I'm simply going to have 13 power 12 divided by this will give us 12 power 12 times. 12 power 1. So I can decide to factor out this 1 over 12. That means I'm simply going to have 13 power 12 divided by 12 power 12 times 1 divided by 12. Now, if you observe, there's 12 here and there's 12 here. So I can apply this identity if I have a power c divided by b power c. This equals a divided by b or 3 power of c. So that means I'm simply going to have this is 13 divided by 12 or 3 power of 12 times 1 divided by 12. So right now, what I'm going to do will be to consider this 13. Now I can express 13 as 12 plus 1. So that means I'm simply going to have 12 plus 1, that is 13, divided by 12, or 3 power of 12, times 1 divided by 12. So from here, I can divide each of these things numerator by 12. So this will give me 12, divided by 12, plus 1, divided by 12, this is raised to the power of 12 times 1 divided by 12. So from here, I'm going to have 12 divided by 12, that is 1, plus 1 divided by 12, and this is to the power of 12 times 1 divided by 12. So, what can I do? Now, I'm going to make use of this identity. The identity is, if you have 1 plus 1 divided by n raised to the power of n, this will give you an approximate value of e. And the constant value for e, e is approximately 2.71. Just like that and so forth. So when you have something like this, there's n here, there's n here, that means it is e. And the constant value of e is 2.7182, just like that. So if you observe what we have done so far, the number here is 12, the number here is 12. So that was the major essence of splitting this 13 into summation of 12 and 1.
we want a situation that we can make use of this particular identity. So that was why we were able to split this 13 into two parts, 12 plus one, and we divided by 12 by 12 and one by 12. So we ended up having this, in which the base here 12 equals to the exponent 12. Then we are going to simply replace this with e, and the e is 2.718. That means the e is obviously less than three irrespective of the value of n. For every value of n, from one to infinity, no matter how big the value of n is. How big the value of n is. As n is approaching infinity, or is approximately equals to infinity, we are still going to have e is less than three. So that means the whole of this 1 plus 1 divided by 12 raised to the power of 12 is less than 3. So the whole of this is less than 3. I don't need to know it. I just know that it is less than 3. I don't need calculator here. So this is less than 3. So that being said, that means I'm just going to have a number that is less than 3 times 1 over 12. Have you seen it? A number that is less than 3 times 1 over 12. So let's multiply this out. We are simply going to have less than 3 times 1, that is less than 3, divided by 12. Now, if you are having a number less than 3 and it's, divided, it's dividing 12, that means you are going to have a number that is less than 1. So recall, Recall that we said if a divided by b is less than 1, that means a is less than b. Now, what is our a? Remember, a equals, let's get back. This was our a, 13 power 12. So, we are now having a equals. 13 to the power of 12 and b equals what 12 to the power of 13 so don't forget that i can as well show you here is b 12 power 13 so if that conditions are true in which they are obviously are that means our a is less than b so therefore you can easily say that 13 power 12 is less than 12 power 13, meaning that 12 power 13 is greater than 13 power 12. So that is it. And we have been able to get this right without the use of calculator by just making use of this Euler's identity. So that is just it. And I believe you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you.